Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is a bona fide resident? To determine if an individual is a bona fide resident, the Internal Revenue Service, IRS, uses a specific test designed for U.S. citizens and resident aliens living abroad. This test is crucial for qualifying for certain tax benefits, such as the Foreign Earned Income Exclusion, FEIE, and the Foreign Housing Exclusion or Deduction. Residency Requirements A bona fide resident must have resided in a foreign country for an uninterrupted period that includes an entire tax year, typically from January 1st through December 31st for calendar year taxpayers. Social and Economic Ties The test evaluates the social and economic ties an individual has established with their new home country. This includes having no immediate plans to return to the U.S and actively earning foreign income in the new country of residence. Unearned income, such as dividends or pensions, does not count towards this requirement. Proof of residence. To qualify, individuals must provide proof of a foreign address or permanent home, such as utility bills and rental contracts. Having family members in the new home country and documents like proof of paying foreign income tax or an employment contract can also support the claim. Intent and duration. The IRS assesses the intention and duration of the stay. For example, someone on a temporary work assignment or with plans to return to the US does not qualify. The individual must have solidified long-term foreign residence intentions. Travel to the US. Bona fide residents can return to the US for vacation or short visits without disqualifying themselves, but they must avoid spending excessive time in the US or engaging in activities that suggest an intention to return permanently. Case-by-case -case evaluation. The determination of bona fide resident status is made on a case-by-case -case basis, considering factors such as the length and nature of the stay abroad. This is typically evaluated through information reported on IRS Form 2555. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.